say hi to the stream? You have any words? Any words to tell the people? Instead of punching me? Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Abated Origins. This is Sarisa and the Lost Demon. So this is like an origin story for Bayonetta 3 and I'm aware that this storybook specifically is actually an easter egg or like a mini thing that you can find in Bayonetta 3 like if you collect all the keys you can actually find it and unlock it which I didn't get to do because again I couldn't find all the keys but that's what I've heard so I think that's pretty cool that they they included that in here I've heard nothing but good things about this game so I'm, I'm hoping that it will it will be great if you guys want to head over to twitch.tv slash girl game that's where I'm going to be playing Bayonetta Origins I would love to have you over here so that you can hang out with me in the chat and um, watch this game live before YouTube does, you know? That, that'd be nice. Long ago, there existed two clans. The Lumen the way, Sages of way, Light the and the Umbra Witches of Darkness. Together, they controlled a mysterious power. The clans put in place strict laws to what ensure that strife <laughs> would never consume them. I'm just gonna leave but my a camera, pair guys. Of star crossed lovers broke this rule, and a child was born with the blood of both sage and witch. That is our girl. It was a beautiful baby girl. Oh, look at her. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was exiled to a far land, and her mother locked away in a solitary jail. The witch clan took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a pariah, cursed by the circumstance of her birth. And that's kind of like messed up because that's not even her fault. Her one comfort was the night she snuck into the village jail to visit her mother's cell. Her mother passed each grueling day barely able to so much as move in her cold cell. But when her daughter came to visit, the witch always showed her a loving smile. That's sad. But even this small happiness eventually came to an end. I know, Rosa! <laughs> On the night of the girl's 10th birthday, her mother was to be moved to a deeper cell where even the faintest memory of daylight could not reach her. In desperation, the girl tried a daring rescue, but with only a child's strength, the attempt was in vain. More alone than ever before, the young girl clung to all she had left. A stuffed cat named Cheshire, Cheshire which her mother had made for her long ago. Many moons have since passed. Turning her back on the village, the girl was taken in by an exiled witch who lived on the outskirts of town. Under her strict guidance, the girl continued to train in the ways of the dark arts. She was determined to be a powerful witch and one day save her mother. Dude, this is so sad because, you know, every single iteration of Rosa's, she's always been killed. Her name was Ceresa. Yeah. Oh my god, cute. I, honestly, I really like this art style, though. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I've got to hurry. Ooh. Something's there. What's there? This place. The way she runs is so adorable. I'm sorry. <laughs> A sorry child. Oh. British, isn't it? That's so messed up. They're all bullying her. Stay away. She can't be trusted. Why would you say that? Don't be long. 
I liked how it's stylized too. Like it's so pretty looking. Rosa will be most likely alive at the end. We'll see. I hope that there'll be some sort of happy ending for once. Leave me alone. People would like bully Sarissa like this. Hey! Huh? Hello? <gasps> what do you think you're doing? Is that Jean? Shut up, that's Jean, isn't it? <laughs> Sarissa, you're almost out of time. This is your last chance. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. It is! John, I... I can't. Oh, you big baby. <laughs> Come on, I'll lead the way. This is cute! She looks so cute! Stop dallying! Okay, Sean. It's also really nice that even in this universe too, like Sean's always helping her. Hurry! Nemo girlfriend yeah. and instant girlfriend trust. Thank you. Wow, Sean, you're amazing. <laughs> They'll find us. Oh, you gotta jump here. Who will find us? The other witches? <laughs> Hurry up, Cereza. We don't have all night. Jean, you're Jean, behind wait. me! <laughs> I can't run that fast. It's a girl. You're, I'm not that far behind from you. <laughs> Is she her sister? No, Almost they're childhood there. friends. Hurry up! What do you think you're doing? Oh? Oh no. They're on to us. Leave the guards to me. You hurry on ahead. Wait! John! No! I can't do this alone! Oh, we sacrificed herself for her. Oh, Jean. Every game, she's always protecting her. Jean never changed. Sorry, says still baby though. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little longer. Hold on, mummy. Uh, is this her mom? Oh, do I have to? I have to turn the page in my bag, guys. actually happening I can't tell right now <laughs> what? why is hell opening up what is this don't don't come any closer what is going on? Ah! Oh. oh. <sighs> Who the heck is that? 
Who are you? Shut the hell up. Is that Luca? Fairy Luca, though? She was sleeping. I knew it. I'm like, she had to be dreaming. She had to be dreaming. I kind of want his fit. No, not 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 gonna lie to. You. I I kind of want it too. Dream again. He looked pretty good. But the ending. It was a dream Sarisa knew by heart. I think this, so this time, is before being in a pack with my dumb butterfly. Yeah, this is like before everything. Sarisa decided to consult her friend Cheshire. A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said if I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. What? Okay, wait, 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 theory time, theory time. Remember, Bayonetta 3 is technically Bay the original Bayonetta. Like, that version of her is the original one, according to the story, okay? Just think about that for a second. So, are you telling me how she gets all her powers is because of the fairies? Because, like, wouldn't she already, like, get all that because of, like, who she is? Like, her, her mother and her father, the Lumen Sages, and then the Umbran Witches. She already got that, and then she's trained by the Umbran Witches, and then she also has packed with demons. So where, do, where does, it, where does the, the fairies come in? If we had that, rescuing Mummy would be a piece of cake. The Forbidden Forest. She has the wings because of her pact with Madama Butterfly. I mean, that's what I was assuming, that that's just because of that. Unless it's something else. The oft Who knows? We'll find warning out. from Cereza's teacher rung in her ears. Avalon Forest is home to fairies. Bandit is Creatures so who love to whisk away <laughs> children. Stay away. Sometimes, sometimes people saying stay away from something is a lie. <laughs> Teresa, where are you, my dear? That is so weird. That is like on my left side of my headset. What the hell? Teresa's teacher Morgana was standing by the door. Oh! Her frown discernible even from a distance. That's Morgana? What? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what kind of magic she would get too. Chapter one, the trial of the full moon. Okay. Can I? Yo, this art style is really cute. Tell me that it's not. This is adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. Saving. Oh, okay, cool. Game will be saved automatically. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I might as well just save since we're here now anyway. Uh. Oh. <laughs> That's actually so cute. What? This is adorable. Can I take Cheshire with me? No? Okay. Alright, Morgana, what are you gonna teach me? Chores neglected and I find my apprentice enjoying her beauty sleep. Dude, I love her voice. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just closed my eyes for a second. I... I was... I... Cereza uh... began making an excuse. But Morgana's scowl stopped her in her tracks. Yes, ma'am. I'll get to them right away. But despite her best intentions, Cereza's gaze drifted back towards Avalon Forest. She's too busy thinking about that. This did not go unnoticed by Morgana. Oh. If I've told you once, Cereza, you must never enter that forest. With your current abilities, you would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. Yeah. 
Yes, Morgana. I know. Well then, stop your dreaming and finish those chores before moonrise, young lady. No, for real though, the voice acting of this game is really beautiful. I mean, like the, all the other Bayonetta games, the voice acting is is incredible too. But I mean, like this one sounds so impressive. It's like you're, yeah, you're like listening to an audiobook. That's exactly what this sounds like. All right, water from the well, coming right up. A simple yes will suffice, Cereza. Off you go. <laughs> Despite her strict exterior. Cereza had grown attached to her teacher. Morgana had also been cast out of the village. She understood Cereza's pain, and her stern treatment came from a place of love. I love her design, though. Like, she's so pretty. Draw water at the eastern well. Okay. So we gotta go all the way down there. Gotcha. Cereza often reminded herself that these chores were all part of her training. Eager to please her master, she hurried off towards the well. I love that they're still, like, telling the story while she's running around. What's this? Oh, I wonder if Morgana chose these lamps. Funny, I think we may have similar taste. <laughs> Can I look at anything else? Okay, interact. <laughs> oh my god, stop. This game is so cute! Alright. <laughs> Fetching a pail of water. It may seem like a simple chore, but it requires a fine sense of control. Making it perfect for Umbran training. All right, got the water. <laughs> She's so tiny. Oh my god, I'm dying. This is cute. After laying eyes on the full bucket, Morgana gave a small nod of approval. Good. Now collect the herbs from the garden. At the thought of herbs, Cereza could not help but make a face. This is one job she wished could be forever stricken from her regimen. Do we have a problem? No, ma'am. Trying not to think about the task awaiting her, Cereza headed towards the herb garden. She's like, I don't want to pick herbs. I want to go to the forest! The herbs in Morgana's garden were not your common basil or thyme. She grew infernal plants with an absolutely foul stench. Ew. They typically right, burrowed to avoid sunlight, but a little bit of magic made them pop right up. Oh my god, I think I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, you can even see the whole castle and everything. Or her house, I should say. Huh. Mm -hmm. Wow, such a lovely view. I can stay here forever, but no time for that. <laughs> I think I gotta go down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a cute little fishy pond. I hope you grow up to be... Oh, fishy. I hope you grow up to be big and strong. Oh, This is so... This is so nice. Like, so far it's very calming, you know? Compared to other Bayonetta games where it's very... Um, fast pace and all that. Okay, here they are. Witch Pulse. Uh, Witch Pulse is a fundamental unburned art that utilizes dance to imbue its target with a magical energy. Okay. You can use her pulse to, to grow plants. Oh, okay. Dinner time! One helping of magic coming right up! I think I'm doing this wrong. How, how do I... Oh! How long do I have to do this for? Oh! 
<laughs> Hurry on out! That's actually kind of cute, honestly. I'm gonna do automatic though, cause like that is kind of like annoying. I'm not gonna lie, but it's cute that she has to dance like that. Just a bit more. I find it interesting how dance seems to be a big part of magic in the Bayo universe. Oh yeah, it's a big thing, there right? We go. Oh. What the? Thorn bind? Summon infernal thorns to be on bind to enemies. Uh, okay. No one told me they could do this. I've got to catch it quick. Ow! What the? Cool. <laughs> yes, I did it. Ceresa was pleasantly surprised. She's so proud of herself. She usually managed to make a mess with even this rudimentary magic. I can't wait to see the look on Morgana's face. <laughs> Yo, I know, I know it's supposed to be like mini Saray Saray. She's supposed to be a little kid. But like hearing like the voice cracks and everything, is, this is such good voice acting. I'm so impressed with it. <laughs> Ceresa hummed a happy tune while picking the herbs. As she bent down, she noticed a pretty flower growing amongst the weeds. Oh, those flowers would really bring out the color in Morgana's eyes. Oh, she wants to bring her flowers. That's so nice. Uh, can I just pick up the flowers first? Where they are? Uh, where are they at? Do we pick them up? I'm assuming we picked them up. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait. I saw I saw a book there. Damn it. Uh, I thought I could read I it. I wouldn't mind if it weren't for the smell. Ew. <laughs> Her poor back. <laughs> She's so tiny. Ceresa proudly gave the basket to Morgana. It was full to bursting. How about that, Morgana? Quite the harvest, wouldn't you say? I also picked these violets. They're for you. I thought you might like them. Atop the herbs lay a small wreath. Morgana glanced down at it. Okay, let's see what she thinks about the flowers. Her expression unchanged. She spoke to Ceresa in her usual tone. Do not expect praise for this sort of perfunctory performance. <laughs> oh, and Ceresa, your hair today seems to have lost its sheen. Do not tell me that in addition to your outdoor tasks, you're also neglecting your hair. Damn, dude. <laughs> uh, no, ma'am. It's next on my list. <coughs> You gotta take care of that hair, it's important! <sighs> Remember, Ceresa. Hair is the most versatile tool of an Umbra witch. Mm -hmm. It can be shaped into our armor, weapons, and even used as a medium Sass, for summoning she gets infernal it from that, demons. Probably. <laughs> as blood flows through veins, magic flows through a witch's hair. Care for it as you would your most precious tool, and defend it as you would your very heart. Understood. I'll make sure to finish up before training starts tonight. Fun fact, which witches in like real life, I think in a lot of cultures, no matter what kind of witch in, in many cultures, hair is like one of the most important things to them. A lot of them um, wear scarves and stuff to protect the hair specifically because of this reason. Because hair is like magic. So you can look that up. Any any different different culture, there's a lot of it like that. Good. So, I, that's another thing chores. that I liked about Bayonetta the 2. They take like real elements of like the moon real life rise. witches and cultures and stuff and put it in the game so it makes a lot more sense. 
With this, Morgana turned and walked back towards the house. Yes, ma'am. At times, Morgana's cold treatment got Ceresa down. Oh, yeah, I bet. If she's like that every day. But she knew that Morgana cared for her and oh, only wanted what was best for her. <laughs> she kept it. That's actually really cute. She kept it as a bracelet. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Making a quick recovery, Ceresa resolved to finish her remaining chores in That's record time. That night. This is Almost so, time for today's so pretty. I'd better hurry, or I'm in for another lecture. Okay, where do I go? Oh, the colors are so beautiful. Dude, the game design of this is, like, incredible. Um, let me do another save slot. <coughs> <coughs> oh, she sleeps? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> While the story can be iffy, a lot of times I do really love the uh, a lot of the lore connections and myths and culture. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing I like about it, too. Like, it connects to real life. And, and takes those elements to make it in the story. With the household chores complete, it was time for Ceresa's daily training in the dark arts. Today, she was finally going to get a chance to attempt a spell she had been practicing for weeks, summoning an infernal demon. Ooh. Okay, we'll see how this goes. For today's training, I will give you a little help. Before even learning what it did, Ceresa was captivated by the intricate brace. This is a tool for those who have yet to master the flow of magic. Furthermore, we train under the full moon of the bisextile night, when the dark energy we Umbra harness is at its zenith. <clears throat> Are you listening, young lady? <laughs> She's too distracted, but that's also another thing true. Uh, full moons, very, very powerful for witches, you know? You seem determined today. Perhaps I should let you nap more often. Yes, ma'am. Ceresa's <laughs> spirits so were high. Cute. She was determined to succeed. Is it working? Step by step, <laughs> Ceresa flawlessly performed the summoning dance. Until... supposed to happen I feel like that's not supposed to happen this looked like trouble <laughs> unless bound by hair there will be no way to control the demon <laughs> she's not ready the demon turned to ash mere inches from Ceresa without a proper medium demons will soon die in our world Ugh. We are finished for today. She's not impressed. L let me try again. Please. Morgana turned and walked away, ignoring her pupil's desperate oh, plea. What kind of witch fears her own summoned familiar? I was foolish to think you were ready for this training. I feel really bad. I bet Morgana's doing, like, you know, the tough love kind of thing to, like, teach her. But sometimes that doesn't really work. I feel kind of bad. Morgana told Ceresa to put away the magic brace before heading back to the house. Long after Morgana was gone, Ceresa sat moping in the garden. Out of habit, she shared her troubles with Cheshire. <laughs> Forget returning to the village and saving mummy. At this rate, I'll never even become a witch. All of a sudden, the words from the boy in her dream echoed in her ears. Give you the power to save 
Give you the power. What is he trying to say there, Teresa? I'll give you the power to save your mother, or Avalon Forest, the White Wolf, hide you. Avalon Forest. Teresa's eyes wandered back to the forest. Morgana's repeated warnings left little room for ambiguity, and yet. Boy needs to get better Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> Morgana is always dangerous this and stay away that. How could a dank old forest be that scary a place anyway? I don't know. Adults do often exaggerate to keep kids in their place. Yeah, I was saying that earlier, it's true. This thought got Sarisa's blood boiling. Grievances started bubbling up. Nothing I do is ever good enough for her. Did you see those herbs? Flawless! <laughs> As she blew off steam to Cheshire, she noticed Morgana's brace shining in the moonlight. What, oh, what are you saying, Cheshire? Take the brace and sneak into oh, the honey, forest? This is, this is gonna be Morgana bad. would give us a right smack on the bottom. Although, with the moon shining brightly, it was the ideal chance for a little surreptitious forest excursion. This girl's gonna either die or get her ass beat by Morgana. <laughs> I mean, if I just had another chance to get the hang of it, I could have gotten that demon totally under wraps. With a demon by her side, eviscerating a fairy or two would be child's play. Why do I feel like Morgana going is gonna let her go on purpose? Like she already back, knows that she's gonna power. go, but Morgana she's letting her do it on purpose. Everything she said about me not being ready. Let's go, Cheshire. Next stop, Avalon. Oh no, <laughs> you only live once. Do it, Ceresa. <laughs> All right, screw it. Let's go, Cheshire. Let's go. Hmm? Maybe I can say a little, a uh, little wish to this candle. Please may Avalon make my dreams come true. <laughs> That's actually so cute. Oh my goodness. She's so innocent here. Little Ceresa. Oh god, it's dark. Ceresa shivered at the thought of what lay ahead. But curiosity got the better of her. really pretty they are so so pretty like the way everything is like drawn and everything it just it just works it's little like children's book style it's kind of like the vibe it's giving cool, right? it's beautiful i would protect Ceresa too because i love her and so, Ceresa threw caution and her teacher's warnings to the wind uh -oh. and set out towards Avalon Forest. There she goes. Little She's did gone. she know that what lay waiting in those dark woods would change her fate forever. Okay, definitely. Uh, Bayonetta Origins. I definitely think that's that's where, um, in Bayonetta 3, where Ceresa was talking to... Uh, the fairies in the forest where they when they teleported that that has to be the same one that has to be I love more it's the same thing There's no other explanation for it Chapter two into the unknown I do find it cute that she's holding Cheshire like this. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay Massive trees blocked almost all light from the moon an eerie silence enveloped Teresa. She cautiously ventured onwards. Oh! Ooh. Some Stop owls too. Surprise me like that! <laughs> Her little voice cracks are so cute. 
Hey, there's some stuff. I'm gonna get that. Onyx Rose. That's what I remember from the other games. We're gonna need them. high up. Just imagine if I fell. Oh. Be careful. Don't look down. Oh my god, oh my god. We got it, we got it. Come on, Cereza. One foot in front of the other. Yep, Bayonetta Baby Edition. <laughs> A plant from Inferno. I wonder how it will respond to my magic. Yeah, I was gonna say. Witch Pulse. Let's see. Yeah, I think it could be the brace. Maybe it's just her in general and she just doesn't know it. Avalon drops. Magical energy crystallized by Avalon. One bite sends a rush of rich sweetness from the head to toe, instantly enrapturing anyone. So basically we're getting a sugar high, right? Is that what they're trying to say right now? <laughs> I thought it was gonna eat it. Dude, I was about to like cry. <laughs> that's the funny. Cerise's vitality. Okay, yeah, so that's her health bar. Oh, brother. So what do I do here? Okay, I'm gonna have to get closer. How do I. Come on. Is that not enough? Do I have to keep holding it? Is this how this works? <laughs> oh my god, I just kicked my ass. Hang on. Okay, give me all this. Oh, oh. oh damn! What the fuck? <laughs> I just have to- I think I just have to walk past. <laughs> I am stupid. Dude, my health bar is so down. <laughs> hey, Sean, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Resident Evil 4 next week. I can't wait. Listen, I thought I could kill it, all right? All right? Hear me out. I just thought I could kill it, all right? <laughs> Looking into the dark underbrush, Ceresa could not shake the feeling that someone was looking back. Yeah. As the wind rustled the leaves, it sounded just like a rasping voice whispered in her ear. I can't turn back now. I'm going to become a witch and save Mummy. Oh, poor little baby. That is creepy though. I bet it's the fairies. That's the only explanation that it could be. gonna get lost deeper and deeper into the forest oh my god can I save thank god <laughs> thank god all right what was that Must have been a rabbit or something. Right, Cheshire? I don't know, it kind of did not look like a rabbit, but I'm just gonna go with it, sure. Is... is someone out there? What is that? 
Hello? Yep, it's following us. Teresa could not shake the feeling she was being watched. Is someone there? Show yourself! And then, as if to answer her call... <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Desian of the wood? What? Oh, is this like the enemies of the forest, I guess? These were fairies. Nefarious creatures who ensnare the souls of humans who venture into the woods to feed on their vitality. This time, there was nowhere to run. Ceresa was backed into a corner. What do I do? Work this time. Oh, she's gonna summon. Fingers crossed, Ceresa prepared to use the summoning spell she learnt from Morgana. Let's hope it works this time. Looking up on Wikipedia, also see are generally described as stunningly beautiful, though they can also be terrible and hideous. Also see, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but uh, are seen as fierce guardians of their abodes, whether the, oh, whether a fairy hill, a fairy ring, or a special tree, often in a hearthworn or a particular lockwood. Mm, interesting. Okay. Batai <laughs> Vatosu! She's cute when she says it like that. Did it work? Nope. Even after the summoning circle had faded away, no one had answered her call. Oh no. I know why. Wait. Remember, there's no moonlight in the forest. Remember? Why? I did everything right. There's no moonlight. The fairies resumed their sinister mission. All at once, they jumped at Ceresa. Weapons poised to strike. <laughs> She shut her eyes tight and prepared for the worst. A moment passed, uh, huh? and then another. But she felt not so much as a pinprick. What? Oh, oh! Who are you? It's Luca. Right? Right? That's Luca, right? Remember, he transforms into that when he, like, blends through all the... But that doesn't make any sense. Would he be blending through all the timelines already? Or is this Cheshire? Oh, it's Cheshire! No, it's Cheshire. So, like... <laughs> that beast, as dark as a moonless night, had it all been a dream? You don't think... Could that have been... Could that have been what? But before Ceresa could finish her question... I mean, she was talking to him earlier. Um, why did I think that Bayonetta was going to fight fairies? I thought she was going to throw hands with some Tinkerbells or something. <laughs> Just fighting Tinkerbells in the forest. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Cheshire! Ch 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 Cheshire? From its gaping maw, extending ear to ear, fell a drop of thick slobber. Wait, did I manage to summon a demon? That has now possessed Cheshire. As if in reply, the beast growled and bared its blood red fangs. Just as Ceresa feared, a demon had indeed possessed her beloved stuffed cat. I mean, is that a bad thing? It saved us? The creature had desperately sought a medium in order to survive in our world. 
In lieu of hair, it's settled for one made of felt. Okay, I have a question, because I can't remember. It's been like a really long time since I played Bayonetta 1 and 2. But Bayon never, Bayonetta never really talked about Shesha, right? Right? It was just her plush toy that baby Seresa had. Right? This whole like Shesha becoming a demon was only in Bayonetta 3, right? Because I, I can't remember if they talked about that in the first game or not. Now that's kind of making sense how Viola got Shesher and then Shesher actually does fight in battle. Because baby Seresa had the doll, but it never transformed into anything. And I don't remember Bayonetta talking about it. Yeah, she only she only had it as a plush toy. Baby Seriously did, and then she gave that nickname to Luca. That's what I remember. I don't remember it be, having a demon attached. Th this is new. So I guess that explains how Viola got it. Like how she got a demon. I think this that that explains how Viola has a demon with her. Looking around, the demon's eyes found Seresa. It let out a low growl. After her initial terror, Seresa realized that she was able to understand what the demon was saying. You... you want me to return you to Inferno? Seresa had her hands full, calling a demon to this world. She hadn't even begun to study the spell to send them back. Seresa once again heard the demon's words, this time even more clearly. Send me back. Send me back. The demon's rage increased by the second, but there was nothing Seresa could do. Okay, so interesting. I guess maybe the reason why Cheshire is still stuck in, in the plush is because she never figured it out. Right? Because she's a baby here. And like, I don't know how much time is going to pass where she meets Luca and then they have Viola. Does she just keep it? Because like, they have to have a made a pack or something. That's the only way you could keep a demon is if you make a pack with it. This is by accident. Out of patience, he pounced. Claws like daggers descended on Seresa. Huh? It's not working. But what if we hear? The demon had stopped cold. As if bound by an invisible force, no matter how he struggled, he was unable to touch Seresa. Calm down. You're going to burst the seam. <laughs> Literally, because you're a stuffed animal. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll send you home. Once I figure out how... She doesn't know. I'm on my way to get a fantastic power. With that, sending you back should be a piece of cake. She's like, in the meantime, let me tell you why I snuck out and here in the, in, in the forest, I'm gonna get new powers. <laughs> Giving up his Where's... attack, the demon turned his attention elsewhere. <laughs> Where is he going? This is Bayonetta 3's Bayonetta. This one. Intrigued, but a little scared, Seresa decided to follow a bit behind. Listen, if you're in a, in a creepy-ass forest, you might as well follow the demon that can't attack you. <laughs> oh, wait, what? I'm controlling Shesha right now? This is actually so cool. The demon ran through the forest, searching for a way home. Whoa. I'm, oh, we can fight a fairy. Oh, you're dead, fairy. I'm in no mood for pests. Get <laughs> ready for a face full of claw. The demon leapt towards the fairies. 
This is weird because I can't use the left, um, left stick to move him. I have to use the right, so I keep forgetting that I want to use the left to move, but it's not letting me. This is very interesting. This kind of reminds me- have you guys ever played that game called Brothers? Um, this is totally reminding me of that. The, the, the way that the controls are. Because I wonder if it's in, implying that I can control Seresa with one controller the and then Shusha with the other. With his razor -sharp claws. But something felt off. His power seemed to escape him. Slowly, but surely. Mm. Because he's far away from Seresa. They're connected. What's wrong? The demon bared his fangs. He was clearly suffering. Are you sick? Or hungry, perhaps? As Cereza approached, the demon felt the strength return to his body. I In knew an it. instant, they're far he away felt from right each as other. rain. His body was linked to Cereza by powerful magic. Moving away from her robbed it of its energy. I knew it. What's that? I need to stay close to you? I've never heard of a spell like this before. How do you plan on getting me back <laughs> to Inferno? The demon demanded. Shesha has some nice nails, true. We first need to find a white wolf. He'll show us the way. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll find him. Said the demon as he clambered to his feet. Um, I'm Cereza. What's your name? Oh, <laughs> this is so cute, dude. <laughs> I have no name, replied the demon curtly. Mm. You don't have a name? That must be terribly inconvenient. Though I must admit, <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea about demonic manners. Why is this so adorable? May I call you Cheshire? That's the name of the stuffed cat you decided to borrow after all. To call you something. <laughs> I like how she asked you. Like, can I call you this? Body. Fine. I'll just call you whatever I please. <laughs> so sassy. And so these strange companions set <laughs> off in search of the white wolf. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even just skip that. So I can control both of them at the same it's exactly like brothers. One one side of the controller is for one character and the other side of the controller is for the other. That is actually really cool. Okay. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. Let's go, Cheshire. The demon seemed to have calmed down. Remembering that he could not touch her, Ceresa breathed a sigh of relief. He can just break things for me. All right, there we go. The pungent scent tickled Ceresa's nose. It was rosemary, often used oh, to ward but the off evil spirits. Shusher can't go in there because he's a demon, right? He's not allowed in. As soon as the scent reached Cheshire, he pulled away. Yeah. Face scrunched up in disgust. What are it we gonna do? Like we gotta destroy demons it. Demons could not stand being anywhere near the flower. Rosemary. Being a demon, Cheshire can't stand Rosemary. Whether it pops up, Cheshire will need to take a different path. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta, uh... 
Hang on. Let me help him, because he can't... I can't be too far away from her. Bear, stop barking, honey. This is so weird to control. Because, like, I want to look at everything, but, like, I can't because I'm, like, limited. This is going to take some time for me to get used to all this. No, a little flower, yes. <laughs> there we go, they're together again. Oh, the stupid plant thing. Wait, can Shesha just like kill it instead of me trying to do something? Okay, I gotta remember I don't need to fight it like this I, was I quite did. a pickle. But Ceresa knew how to get by without a scratch. What about Shesha? Ooh, I can I can hold it. Shesha! I've got it tied down! Finish it! <laughs> nice! That's how we're gonna do it together. I'll go first to make a path. You How is he supposed to get past this? Oh, it's the flower behind him. was multiplayer i will say that all at once cheshire's body shrunk to its original cuddly form why this, he needs oh you know it's probably cool downtime you know what i mean <laughs> cheshire. he's probably tired Ceresa ran to pick up cheshire Aww. and held him tightly to her <laughs> chest that she's hugging in him. her arms cheshire felt his strength returning Release me at once! Even in this form, the demon did not seem happy about being cuddled. <laughs> Just hold still, will you? Why are you small? You can't walk on your own, right? I'll carry you until you can transform again! Not having a massive demon breathing down my neck will make it easier for me to calm down, too. <laughs> While far from pleased about being treated like a stuffed animal, this the so demon true. had no choice but to swallow his pride. Exploring together, when his stuffed animal when in his stuffed animal form, Ceresa can hold Shesher and move with him. What? When moving about together, you can move Shesher with an ex <laughs> I just I'm just waving Shesher around. That's actually kind of funny. Huh. Even with you in there, Cheshire still weighs the same as before. How do I do this? Cheshire, do something. Okay. <sighs> this is so cute. Dude. Alright, let me save this one. This is stressful journey and needs cuddles. I know, right? <laughs> There we go, 
guys, just speaking. Because I imagine we're gonna buy some things later. So. Wait, what? Hug mode. <laughs> what the heck? Hang on. Uh... Shasha, where do we go? Oh, does he have to jump up there or something? Wait. No. How do I do this? Or I have to like extend him. Extend Cheshire. No. Oh, I have to use him like that. Oh, interesting. So basically, I'm yeeting uh, Cheshire into the plant. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I gotta put Cheshire up there. More rosemary. Cheshire, I'll toss you up there. See if there's a way forward. Okay. I figured I was gonna throw him. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Go, no, Cheshire. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta be careful because of the rosemary, of course. So, let me make it go this way. Rosemary is... Hey, uh, speaking from someone who knows some stuff about this, rosemary does help, does help ward off negative energy if that counts as demons too, you know? Alright, give me him back. Oh, do I have to put him up there? Oh, hang on, hang on. My bad. Uh, crap. Um... Can I not put him there? Or do I have to throw him up here? Where do I throw you? Damn it, I think I gotta go back with him. up there? Uh-oh. We gotta figure this out. Hang on. Uh... Just an Umbran, Umbran witch confirmed, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um... I think I gotta make way for him. Hang on. Let's see if I can try something. I didn't freaking do anything. I just jumped down. Oh. Uh, maybe. Hang on. Will this work? Can you, like, come back up here? Cheshire, over here! Can I throw you up here? Oh, here we go. There we go. I just had to toss them. I can't believe this is how we're getting around. <laughs> got it. We got it. We're good. Uh oh. Lost my Cheshire help! Get him, Cheshire! Yeah, this is gonna take some time for me to get used to the chainsaw. <laughs> Oh, I picked up a magic butterfly. Nice.
got it. A chest? A Do we chest? get things? Did the fairies make this? I wonder what's inside. I love the get out call back to one, yeah. Oh, let's see what's in there. Yes! <laughs> That's so cute. Healing tonic. Armbrand medicine in a bottle shaped like a petal. Use slightly to restore Serace's vitality. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait, Treasure, come back. You gotta come with me, bro. Okay, and I have to throw him here. Oh, there's like two of them. Okay, hang on a second. Wait. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, hang on, I got it. There we go, that kind of worked. Ow! Okay, wait, how do I, can I stop this thing? No, right? I think I can have to time it. I think that's all it was. Shushin! I just have to time it. Okay, so how do I help here? So we go down here. There we go. This is so cute! The puzzles are interesting. Uh, hey, give me a break. Uh, what? <laughs> what are the Indiana Jones is going on? <laughs> oh no 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 no. I can't pick up all the stuff! How do I control this thing? Okay, I gotta I gotta make Shesha do it. Shesha, get everything! I mean, we survived. We're good. Bunnies. <laughs> oh my god! Finally, I can freaking save too. What Why is this game so adorable? I know, right? There were signs that a witch had set up camp here. Perhaps I'm not the first witch to enter this forest. Who do you think? <clears throat> I, the only other person oh, well. I can think Who is Morgana or Jost. Hmm? Look what we have here. Things. <laughs> Baked gecko. Compound sealed in crystal. Interestingly, it can have various effects on the user depending on how well it's baked. So wait, are we eating this? Unicorn horn. Compound sealed in crystal. Knocked straight off the poor unicorn. May be used for ornamental purpose. Depending on the length of the sparkle. Yeah, it has to be Jean, right? She she would definitely try to help um, Bayonetta to get her mom back. Compound sealed in crystal. Break out of the seemingly fit every little thing. Best pack and deepen your... Oh, manjarin root. Okay. So we got all this stuff. Nice. Can I please save? Sanctuaries can be unlocked by approaching. So it's like a save point. Like um Rodon's bar. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. This is like Rodon's bar. Let's take a break. What a really wholesome yeah. game for a woman who can summon demons and kill angels on a daily basis. I do like it that it's like a different um oh I have a concoction menu. Nice. This is where we can make potions and stuff. Yep, so the same same like in the game, which is really really nice. Okay, let's make a healing tonic real quick. Bear, what are you doing? Come here. Oh no! Oh 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Bear, you're tangled up in my wires! <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it. This boy's been barky barky right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You say hi to the stream? You have any words? Any words to tell the people? Instead of punching me? She, he's just a gremlin, honestly. This this little boy's just a gremlin. Bear! No bear. No bear. Get out of here. <laughs> he's such a gremlin, Jesus Christ. I feel like he's, he's more of a gremlin than Clementine was. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So I could just press this and then toss everything in there. Oh my god, so cute! Yes! That's so cute! Oh my god, I really love this game. That's cool. Okay, so um Healing tonic, gotcha. Okay. Can I save now? All right, let's get out of here. Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> Cheshire dancing, I know, it's adorable. Hey, look over there. Oh, the white wolf, right? Before them stood a large Our, wolf. Um, its snow white fur one. shone pale silver in the moonlight. <laughs> Avalon Forest, the white wolf hide you. Ceresa was captivated by the wolf. It seemed almost not of this world. Hey, and it's gone. Wait! Come back! Have I, have I, have a, I, I, I played, um, some of High Five Rise. It was pretty fun. What are you doing, bear? What are you doing, bear, bear? He's, he came over to show me his dinosaur, guys. He's got a dinosaur toy that he really likes, so he's trying to show me it right now. Wow, that's so nice. No, bear! <laughs> bear, no! Don't attack Pikachu. No Pikachu for you. Wow. <laughs> Is Clem napping? No, she's in the she's in the kitchen with the food, of course. Because if there's food, she's gotta be there. Hi, Bear. Bear, can can mom finish like you know doing all? The okay, no, no. Ah! No bear. Bad bear. No. <laughs> Let me finish this! We're at the end of like chapter two, I'm pretty sure. What? What? Is it like locking her in deeper? Is that what that is? Travel wisdom? What the heck is this about? Move Ceresa. I mean, I know how to do all this. That's okay. Oh, that must be the tracks. Has Bear chomped on Pikachu yet? Oh yeah, he, he tried to steal it actually the other day. White Wolf tracks. Okay, so we gotta find him. Oh wait, come back. <laughs> Cause I think I have to find him. The, the world before Ceresa seemed to warp and bend. She blinked hard to no avail. Could this be a fairy trick? Cheshire was losing patience with his hesitant companion. Come on, we've still got that wolf to catch. <laughs> the voice she gives Cheshire I'm is so ready. funny. Just give me a second. She's a scaredy cat. It's so weird seeing Ceresa be so scared. 
Because we're used to her being such a badass, you know? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? As what soon as she took a step inside, she felt as if the breath had frozen in her chest. All around her were sights strange and terrible. Don't be as if she had been treasure. dragged into a waking nightmare. I, I'm fine. It takes oh. more than this to scare me. Oh. Bye, Pentagast. Thank you for joining the stream. This is kind of creepy, though. Loki, How am like, I supposed I'd to find my too. way in here? <gasps> Suddenly, Ceresa's magic brace began to glow. What could it be? But what is it? Dispelling illusions. Oh. Okay. So you have this. Do you have to search around for it? The light from the brace revealed things Ceresa was unable to see before. Does oh, this shit, my bad. Hang on. Have the power to dispel illusions. All this time she's in here, Rosa must be sent for to another jail. <laughs> Probably, right? She's like, girl, you're taking too long. There's something here. Like a Upon close inspection, there appeared to be distortions as if the air itself had cracked. Equally confused, the girl and demon exchanged a glance. That wolf was just up ahead. Cheshire's indecision did not last long, but try as he might, he was unable to open the cracks any further. Try using magic to open it? Yeah, you're, you're just spelling on. thing, you got. We have no idea what's lurking on the other side. Cheshire gave a mocking snort at Cerisa's cowardice. I am not making excuses! <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, Ceresa. Just like you practiced. Here we go. Can she do it? I think she did it. <laughs> Once their eyes had adjusted to the brilliant light, what lay before them was a sight unlike anything either had seen before. What the hell is that? What the? Cheshire, I have a feeling we're not in Avalon anymore. <laughs> Try no Nog? The source of the fairy's illusion, they can be found throughout the forest. Find and destroy the core. Okay. 